so guys welcome to the fifth module of facebook advertising and today we will be looking at facebook ads impact for creatives so what is the what is the goal of this particular module so it is it is to un, to understand and master the mix of ad formats messaging and visuals because they form such an important component of our facebook ads and hence we need to we need to understand and we need to study how we can make creatives how we can make visuals and how we can make messages which impact people and thus in return help us achieve a business goal so what is the agenda so these are a few points that we'll be covering so we'll be starting with ad formats so choosing the right formats before making creatives so facebook provides us with a different variety of ad formats so which one to use when is what suitable is is what we'll consider then we'll go to ad media and links so managing the raw assets copy and landing pages then we go to messaging so basically effective messaging so how to write copy that leaves a mem memorable impact yeah engaging visuals so visual guidelines to grab attention and leave an impression because it's it's absolutely necessary to grab attention yeah so how do we use visuals and the last is uh, putting it all together so how do we combine the messaging and the visuals to create a great advertisement this is the agenda for today so let's start with the first point which is ad formats so choosing the right formats before making the creatives so basically facebook provides us with a few formats like i said so let's try to under the understand those formats and let's see which ones are suitable for what op what objectives and under what scenarios so be, the, these are the these are the available ad formats that facebook basically gives us the first if you say is a carousel ad format a carousel ad format is is a format which consists of multiple images or you can call them multiple image or video cards so it's like a series of images that user can swipe to left or right then we have a uh, single image ads so ads with a, which, which have a single image then we have a, then we have video as a format and then we also have slide show so slide show is what a series of images put or being displayed one after the other so now let's start with uh, single images and videos all right so let's discuss the ad formats which uh, which allow which which allow us to use single image or a single video so there are there are two formats there is a single image format and then there is a video format so let's look at these now so single image ads look something like this all right so a single image along with a uh, with the caption with the description and that is how this is how the ad actually looks in your news feed so it's it's very simple there is a single image and then there is a call to action button and then there is a text surrounding the surrounding that particular creative video ads on the other hand look something like this things Hazed and confused has a thick gooey core of hazelnut fudge surrounded by chocolate and hazelnut ice cream. Yeah. You should try a pint when you aren't as busy, of course. Yeah. So as you saw, video ads they appear on our news feeds and the videos nowadays also start auto playing. so video can also be a really engaging format because you know it's it's a format which is which is you know loved by people they love consuming content in in the form of a video and so if we can make impactful videos we can actually have a very positive impact on the audience and thus achieve the objectives that we're looking to achieve through our facebook ads right so video ads for sound sight sound and motion so like i said you know they start playing with sound off right so they they start auto playing so now if they are auto playing you know what we can do is that we can have uh, you know uh, subtitles firstly for videos that can be a good way to to make the user understand the video even if the user plays it without sound or any any way in which you can make the video content consumable even without without Uh, the sound being played is is something that we need to put efforts in all right because the auto play feature is a powerful feature then what what else can we do we can also have you you can choose a thumbnail all right a thumbnail which which is which is the first frame of the video 
So now if that thumbnail is powerful, if that thumbnail is engaging, the users will be encouraged to click on the video or click on the play button and watch the entire video. So in the in the busy news feed, you know, when there is a lot of competition, when there is a lot of content that the user uh, gets to see, one way in which we can, you know, differentiate our content is by is by these two things. All right, we can we can give subtitles or we can make the video consumable in such a way that there is no sound required. And secondly, we can have engaging thumbnails so that the user is interested to know more about the video. So now let's look at the formats which have multiple creatives. All right, so now there are two of them. The first is the carousel format and the second is the slideshow format. So now let's explore these formats. So carousel ads basically look like this. So if you can see, carousel ads basically consist of multiple boxes or multiple cards which can have uh, so every card can have a sing, uh, uh, one photo they can have uh, you know a different link with which they are connected or they can also have different content or different text that is written in each of these cards so basically as you can see this is like a panor panoramic image so you can create you can be very creative with this format because it allows you to create different stories it allows you to you know display multiple products it allows you to create a panorama and all of those things so it's one of the one of the more effective formats as far as facebook ads are concerned and a really really powerful one and something which can which if we use creatively can give you a great results right so the carousel ad format allows versatility how so it allows you to use multiple images or videos across a single ad unit to showcase your brand products and or services right then it is useful for storytelling be because of the multiple frames that it that it has and i like i said you can also build a panorama by using it a slideshow on the other hand looks something like this so you know slideshow is basically what a, a collection of images or basically multiple images being shown one after the other this is how a slideshow basically looks like so if you say slideshow is something which you know comes a little closer to what a video is all about so if you have you know your own constraints as far as video creation is concerned if you don't have the resources for video creation you could go with slideshow creation or the other other uh, parameter would be let's say uh, you know the internet speed if you are catering to people who don't have uh, you know high internet speed you can always go with a slideshow format in you know versus the instead of going for the video format because slideshow format is lighter as compared to the video format so the consumption does not you know cost you a lot of data so now which format should you use so now that depends on what you want to achieve so depending on the objective that we have we can choose a format so photo ads so showcasing if if you have if you want to showcase a large beautiful image you can go with photo ads and you can also you know you can also include a strong cta which is a call to action in the photo ads on the other hand if you want to tell a story or if you want to get engagement or if you want to bring a strong if you want to build a stronger connection because video videos can be really powerful to build connections right people have a tendency the users have the tendency of connecting strongly with a video format so if you want to connect build a stronger connection with the user through sight sound and motion go with video ads so depending on what you want to achieve you know you can choose which format to use right now carousel ads can be used when you want to tell a sequence of events and stories you know like we discussed carousel ads are great for storytelling then showcase a few products a few features of a product or list a few things now because there are multiple images or multiple cards you can showcase a few products you can showcase any features or you can list a few things you can also include separate call to actions yeah for for separate cards so it's it elicits a strong strong cta then you know link each photo video to different url all right slideshow again slideshow can be used to tell a story by using multiple images and then showcase multiple images when you can't make a video for low bandwidth so we discussed this before slideshow has that upper edge over the video ads because slide sh slideshows consume or the 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 the, the, the slideshow ad format is lighter in comparison to the video format now lead ads lead ads allow us to collect information from the user okay so lead ads basically allow us to collect information like name email ids phone numbers etc 
right so if you if you want to collect these these sorts of information or this sort of information from the users we can always go with lead ads so get get users to subscribe to something like a newsletter maybe or maybe when you want a subscriber to join an event so you can or so you can reach out to them and send them more info right so lead ad format can be used in in these circumstances the next agenda is ad media and links all right so managing the raw assets copy and landing pages so let's look at that now right so now when we go to the ad creation tool you know when we are creating a new advertisement you know we'll see these four formats that we just saw the carousel format the single image format the single video format and the slideshow format now when you let's say when you click on a single image format you know below you will see that there are in the images section there are basically three buttons or three options there is browse library there is free stock images and then there is upload images so now let's understand uh, these what does what do these three buttons do the browse library button basically gives opens a section where you know the the already existing images or rather the images that you have previously used for your ad campaigns they are all saved so you know you can choose to you can choose one of those images that you have already saved or rather you have you have used in the past because they will be present in the in the uh, gallery right or the library right then you have the free stock images so this this free stock images basically it consists of the it consists of different stock images that you can use for your advertisements now you they you also have the option of searching for a particular topic right so based on that particular keyword different stock images will appear and you can use those stock images directly to make make an advertisement otherwise if you want to have an image of your own you know let's say if you have if you have uh, designed an image for yourself right you can you can upload your own image which is what the third button or the third option allows you to do so you can you know you can do either of these things right uh, one thing to remember in in uh, image ads is the is the specifications so if you see the specifications to the right there is a recommended size there is a ratio all right and then there, there should be very little text or no text at all okay because anyway you have a lot of areas to express test a text around the around that particular creative right there is caption there is description so keep try to express uh, or try to use text in those fields and try to use minimal text in the in the image because facebook policy give a lesser reach to the to the image which has a lot of text so keep the text to a minimal level then video ads all right so now again in video ads you can upload a video of your own or you can use the one which is already there in the video library rather the one that you have already used before right so or rather uploaded before so video in in video ads you can see that you can upload a new video or you can you can browse library so you can basically use the use an existing video which you have already uploaded on the on the page again if you see to the right there are recommended video specifications so you know there is a format then there is resolution then aspect ratio and all of those things so please ensure that you are complying with these formats or complying with the specifications because otherwise the facebook policy will not allow this ad to be approved now carousel ads so because carousel ads complete uh, consist of you know different cards or different images we can use different images and multi videos together with headlines description and call to action buttons so basically we can create separate cards and then uh, you know we can we can use them in our carousel ad right so if you can see 1 2 3 so one all of these stand for different different cards or different different images so you can uh, you can uh, change the you can change the image for each card you can change the link where the user will land you can change the call to action button right so you can change the text so everything is customizable in carousel ads then you have the slideshow format again there are recommended specific specifications for that there is a recommended aspect ratio all right and then there is also a time time uh, limit that you can have for your slideshow you can create a slideshow using image or video 
or you can also use the one that you already have in the library so you can you can add a slideshow or you can you know use use an existing one from your library right so this is the ratio it can be in the 1 is to 1 4 is to 3 or 6 is to 9 ratio right so you can select the ratio and then make a slideshow uh, slide based on based on that now one of the most important things which is sometimes missed by advertisers is, is looking at what your ad looks like in the ad preview so when you create the ad below you will see, see an option of uh, looking at the preview of the ad now this preview will show you how exactly this particular ad that you are creating will look for a user so it's it's a good way it's a good practice to look at the preview because it helps us to understand if you have made any mistake in the ad or if it is actually looking looking uh, good if if you think the the ad will actually instigate any action from the user all right because this preview will give us exactly or will, it will show us exactly how the ad will look for a user so do not forget to do the preview of check the preview of the ad before the campaign is actually made live So now, okay. So now let me just go to my dashboard, add dashboard, and show you, show you all of these things that we just saw on the dashboard itself. So like I said, on the Facebook ad dashboard, when you go to the format, you see these four formats that we have discussed so far: the carousel format, the single image format, the single video format, and the slideshow format. All right. Then we looked at uh, the three three options of either. Uh, you can browse the library or the or the library of creatives that you have already used you can use free stock images and you can also search for them so let's say if you want to find an uh, an image for meditation all right so let me type in meditation and you will see different different images you know which go which are around the keyword of meditation all right the th and the third is upload images which basically allows you to upload an image of your own let me also show you the carousel format because the carousel format has different cards in it so when i click on the carousel ad format you can see, if you can see there is one two three and i can also add you know my, uh, more cards to this this uh, your sequence and then in every every card i can select an image or a video slideshow or I can select, uh, I can add text to it. I can, you know, I can select the call to action button, etc. So basically, everything is customizable. So you know, this will be the first card or the first image. This will be the second image. This will be the third image. So it will look like a series of different images. All right. Now, effective messaging. Now we are done with the formats. Now we have to look at the effective messaging. So how can we write copy that leaves a memorable impact on the user? So make your messaging more effective, right? So keep your business goals and audience in mind for effective messaging. So extremely important, right? These two things are extremely important. What is it that we want to achieve? So that's the business goal that will hugely impact the copy that we write. And secondly, what kind of audience are we talking to here? Because the, the way in which we talk to different audiences is different. Similar to the way in which, you know, we talk to people of our from different ages or the way in which we talk to different friends of ours. Similarly, the way in which we talk to different audience also changes. So both of these things to be need to be kept in mind when we are writing our copy. So let's let's take a look at few examples. Now there are three brands. There is Love Love Jeans, there is Alpha Tuition Center, and then there is Nam's Noodle House. Now each of them has diverse business goals. So Love Love Jeans has a business goal of driving in store traffic in downtown location. So their core objective is to drive drive tra traffic or to drive footfalls right so what is that messaging so sh shop at our downtown location and get 20 percent off your purchase so there's a clear call to action they're encouraging people to come into the store and shop and they're also giving an offer of 20 percent so that the user is encouraged to come and shop then we have alpha tuition center who's who, the, the, and their business goal is to generate leads for their upcoming trainings all right and so how are they doing that? They're, they're doing so by offering a free uh, weekly newsletter. So they're they are saying that, you know, sign up for our weekly newsletter to get digital marketing updates, right? So their, their aim here is to generate leads for the trainings, but they're doing so by offering a weekly newsletter. 
Now the, the, the people who are their target audience will be interested in getting these digital marketing updates, right? So they are more likely to sign up for this weekly newsletter and that is how they are generating leads. Now NAMS Noodle House, the, what, is, what is their objective? Their objective is to increase awareness among office workers. And the keyword here is office. And hence, if you look at the messaging, it says busy day, question mark, relax over a noodle bowl at harms. Right, so busy day again, you know, it, it, it is directly talking to someone who works in an office. So if you can see, there is a clear, there is a clear connect between the messaging and two things. One is the objective or what do you want to happen? And second is the kind of audience that you are talking to. The second is use emotional appeal in your ad. So, may, you know, example, make it funny, touching, inspiring, emotional, you know, the ad is ad creation is, is, you know, an artistic thing. It has got to be something which is not robotic. It is, it shouldn't be bland. It should leave an impact. It should, you know, change the person in a, in, in some way when, when the person interacts with the ad, there needs to be some, uh, you know, some, some kind of an emotional impact that you have on the, on the user. So Department of Tourism in Philippines, they used a very, very creative campaign to elicit UGC, which is user, user generated content, right? So UGC strategy, as we all know, it's, it's a really powerful strategy where you make users create content for your brand. All right. And, and when users create content for your brand, it is, you know, it is, it is very powerful because the users are kind of vouching for your brand, spreading good word about your brand through their content. All right. So let's see what they actually did. So pretty creative, right? If you look at the campaign, it talked about photo fails. And so, you know, every, every other, let's say, uh, you know, every other tourism department would also be wanting, would also be trying to get more people to, you know, come and visit their, that particular destination. And they're also trying to give the experience of that destination to people. But this, this part in this particular campaign, you know, Philips to Philippines tourism is basically that they are trying to, uh, you know, use humor to give an experience. So it is not just, you know, giving experience in a bland way, but using humor and fun to, to let people know more about the destination and about the different experiences that they can have in Philippines. All right. The next is use stories to help audience remember things. So people connect with stories, right? So marketing is all about telling stories. So this particular brand, they used a carouser ad to show a week, beach vacation. So again, if you see though, they're, they're trying to build a story of an experience, experience at the beach. And if you look at the carousel ad format, that they're, they're talking about the products, which one can use on a beach vacation. The, the next is have a consistent voice for your brand. Now this is very, very important because a brand needs to have a consistent voice. People do not like a brand which keeps on changing it's voice so to in order to bring a, build a brand recall value there needs to be a consistent voice for your brand and on what parameters does this voice depend so voice basically means the way in which you talk to people all right so now let's let's look at the positioning of these three brands so there is a, all of these are restaurants but the first one is a high end restaurant the second is a sports themed restaurant and the third is a family friendly restaurant all right now, if you see, depending on how they are positioning themselves, their their, their copy is also changing. in In the first uh, in the first ad, if you look, it says our French dip raises the bar, a certified braised uh, Angus beef ribeye with a pretzel bun to give it a little twist. So they have they have uh, tried to make it simple and they have tried to you know keep it really really classy. The sports theme restaurant, on the other hand, says the big game is on tomorrow and our French dip sandwich could go all the way. So if you can understand the pun here, yeah, to your stomach. And the third is basically a family friendly restaurant and hence they have used a family element in their, in their copy if you see. Sometimes being a good dad means a French dip sandwich for you and enough fries for the kids. All right, so 
if you see three restaurants but three the, the all of them you know talking about the same thing in different ways depending on the on the way in which they are positioning themselves so every brand needs to have a personality every brand needs to have a voice and then the brand needs to be consistent with their with that with that voice and use it to reach out to the people affect effectively and consistently then call to action buttons right so now the research has proved that you know including a good call to action in your advertisement can actually boost the performance of your ad so it is essential that we use the right call to action buttons because we are giving through call to action we are giving user a very clear call to action or we are giving user a clear instruction as to what action the user needs to take right so these call to action buttons are very very important so as far as the messaging is uh, the as far as the call to action the messaging is concerned if you look at these three messages okay so shop at our own downtown location and get 20% off your purchase sign up for a for our weekly newsletter to get digital marketing updates and the last is busy day relax over a noodle bowl at nams so now if you see the first two statements have a clear call to action because they are clearly asking for the users to shop in the first one and in the second one to sign up right so it is recommended that you know you include a clear call to action in your in your copy the clearer the instruction the better are the results because the user does not get confused the user gets to uh, understands clearly what is expected of him or her okay the next agenda is basically engaging visuals so visual guidelines to grab attention and leave an impression so you know like they say pictures and videos are worth more than words why because a picture or a video basically you know it's it's a it's a simpler way of content consumption you know instead of text where a user has to read these uh, you know looking at the pictures or videos basically you know tells the user a complete story in a short time and it also leaves a bigger impact on the on the user so that's why they say pictures and video are worth more than words but then the question arises so do i need to have high budgets or do i need does my business need to invest a lot of money and resources for interesting imagery so is is that the case let's 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 find out so not really why because we already have a lot of uh, we have a lot we have an access to a lot of content you know which which happens around our business so only you know if we make a, a few small tweaks if we set up set up a few processes we can have access to all of this content that is happening around us so see uh, if if you look at the the creative on the left it's a simple arrangement of jewelry right so can a jewelry brand or can any brand for that matter consider different arrangements of their products and click click uh, photographs by just using the cell phone just does this particular effort of you know arranging arranging your products in a proper way or in in a fancy way and clicking the photo of it will also give rise to a nice creative the second thing to consider is is uh, you know people love people all right so people basically it it is amazing how an ad creative which has people in it impacts the reader or the user why because people connect more with people than they will ever connect with the product or the service but a lot of times brands make the mistake of uh, you know including a lot of promotional stuff or into, uh, talking a lot about the product or the service but if the brands chose to talk about the experience instead because people are ultimately you know they 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 care about the experience of what your product or what your service will give more than the product or the actual service so including people will have a positive impact as far as the engagement is concerned because the users can connect with the ad or with the image in a in a much profound way and then put your best on display so whatever usps that you have whatever assets that you have whatever strengths that you have they can be put on put on display by you by clicking photographs and using them for our ads so you know if we just keep our eyes open if we just you know make a f- make few efforts we can see that there are interesting things happening around us and thus we can make some really good creatives out of those now it is one one mistake that many many brands make which i have been making or which i have made in the past is you know wanting to say too many things in a, in a single message and i understand that it's very very tempting to want to convey everything in a single message but that's not how it works because the more complicated your communication is the more confused the user is 
right so if you look at the creative on the left it talks about the alpha tuition center now this tuition center if you look at the creative it, it gives a 25 percent discount then there are you know multiple call to actions there is a call to action of lo locating that particular center on the map then there is a call to action of sending a mail to them and then there is a mobile number right so there are there are too many call to actions which are bound to confuse the user all right so how do, what do we do we basically stick to only one call to action or rather we only stick to one information that we want to convey so if you look to the right this creative is very simple it simply talks about you know so does the subscription so subscribe to receive 25% discount of every course right so a very simple simple creative and it talks only about one action that the user is expected to take instead of taking 10 actions the user is now expected to take only one action and hence the ad will perform better than the one that you see on the left so just of uh, just a uh, you know a slide on how to how we can keep it short and sweet and you know make interesting give users an interesting ad experience right so if you see simple nothing too fancy about it but a really sweet ad experience right now let's just you know do some do some activity let's just uh, you know put to use our our creativity and now i will be showing you a few creatives and you can just look at them and make notes on as to how one can improve this particular creative now remember there are no right or wrong answers here because this is this is not a one zero thing this is an artistic thing so basically there can be multiple right or multiple wrong answers to this so how can you improve this particular creative so you can just you know make notes on this you can just think about it and see how this ad could have used a better creative instead of the existing one okay same goes for this ad you can pause the video and just do the exercise you can write it down and the third one is this one all right now a few diy tips and tools to help you okay so very very simple tools which can help you create good ad creatives so smartphones now smartphones these days have a great camera you know as as the technology is advancing the cameras are getting stronger the cameras are getting powerful and we can create you know beautiful imagery or we can create we can click beautiful photographs by using these cameras right so you don't need to have a very high end camera or always need to hire a very high end photographer to get uh, to get these photos you can just you know with a few simple tricks you can just use your smartphone and and have great quality photos so smartphones take great photos second is to pay attention to angle and lighting so paying attention to the you know, small aspects of photography so paying attention to lighting the angle maybe the arrangement all of these things small things you know they if if they are taken care of a really nice photo is clicked so you can do that as well and the third is use apps and filters so there are many apps and many filters which help us enhance the quality of the photo all right so using these apps is 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 highly recommended because a photo which you know is is good is good is, is actually converted into something which is really awesome by using these filters and applications Right so you know applications like layout boomerang and hyperlapse very very recommended so explore these and see how you can use them to add value to your imagery So now let's put it all together. So how can we combine effective messaging with engaging visuals? So present a unique perspective. So if you look at this particular image and the ad, it what does it say? Nam's Noodle House dinner together. So look at the copy and then look at the look at the creative. It talks about uh, so a single dish is being clicked by four mobile phones, four cell phones. Yeah, and the, and the caption says dinner. So I hope you can find a connect. you know in in the in the copy and the visual
the next is you know have a strong focal point so you know bringing desert make it special all right so this is this this particular uh, copy talks about the experience of deserts and how you can make it special all right and if you look at the if you look at the image it's it's really really beautiful it's it's very catchy and you just feel good when you look at it so bringing desert make it special so they're talking about a desert experience and how can you make it special and the third is balancing the framing of the image all right so a really really cute image if you see and then then there is a caption which goes great fashion comes in all sizes so you know this this basically talks about the the jeans for kids and and then the caption says great fashion comes in all the sizes so i hope you can you know try you can connect the dots here and i hope you can you can see how the image and the text are complementing each other and how together when they are used properly they are creating a great user experience and this you know this it is what makes a great advertisement right so now just let's just review and wrap up so let's look at uh, so okay cut so what are the different formats that we looked at there is a single image ad there is a video ad there is a carousel ad and then there is a slide show ad so what format will you use is the first question that we need to ask so one of the things to consider while creating an ad is the format that we'll use the second is media and links so what raw materials make a good ad what landing pages and call to action will drive results so we looked at this as well messaging so on what parameters does the messaging depend what should your ad say you know it all comes down to that what are you trying to achieve what action should your audience uh, sorry what action should your ad encourage your audience to take that should be clear and visual so what should your ad look like and what images will make a big impact so you know having this this uh, this these questions before you actually create an ad you know actually helps the helps to elevate the quality of our facebook ads so that's that's it for today you can continue your learning with online with blueprint yes so thank you and take care